MTX97. In this video, I'll be showing you how to connect to your um, Ventrilo server with Ventrilo, as well as setting up Ventrilo first time and forwarding the required port for the Ventrilo server to be successfully connected to. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is forward the port. Now what you need to do is look at the bottom of your router and find an IP. Type that in. Type in the add username and password from the bottom of that router. Then find your way to something called port forwarding. This will be different for different routers, but once you've found your way to there, maybe by searching on Google how to get to it. Then what you need to do is find the bit name, call that whatever, so I'll call it Ventrilo. Start port needs to be 3784, end port, same thing. The protocol needs to be both, or TCP slash UDP on some routers. And the local IP address needs to be your IPv4 address. To find that out, go to start, type CMD into the program, click enter, type it IP config. Scroll up to where it says IPv4 address and type that in, so 0.6 at the end. So here put 0.6. Click add and that's your port forward for Ventrilo to work. Now I'm going to show you how to set up your own username or name that will be visible by other people on Ventrilo. So what you need to do is open Ventrilo and where it says username click the arrow next to it and where it says select and it has a box and it says new, click new and then this name needs to be your username that you want to be seen as so I'll put cstart97 click ok phonetic is what you'll be heard so you can leave that blank if you don't want that to be heard I think cstart97 will be quite hard to write phonetically description and work directory just leave those blank and click ok and that's your name set up on Ventrilo next thing we need to do is to start our server so what we want to do is go to start all programs Vent server and click Ventrilo server, and that should be your server running. I'm going to show you how to connect to your server if you're the local host, so that's if you're running the server off your PC, how to connect to that server. So, what you do is go to server in Ventrilo, click the arrow next to it, and new, call the name whatever, so local connection. Hostname or IP, you type it here, local host, or one word. Port number was 3784, the one we forwarded. Password, because I didn't set a password from that create a server tutorial, I'm just leave that blank. And default channel, leave that blank. Leave all these checked and click OK. And now I'll press connect. And yes, you're successfully connected to the server. I'm going to show you how to connect to the server if you're not the local host. So if someone's running a server off their PC and you're in a different part of the maybe the city or a different house and you want to connect to this Ventrilo server, now what you need to do is first forward the same port because you need that port forwarded and then ask the local host to find out the external IP. Now this can be found by going to ipchicken.com. should be here in blue text but I'm not going to show you for security reasons. And what you want to do is copy that. Go back to Ventrilo and then un under server click the arrow again create a new one called external connection hostname or IP paste in that IP found from IP chicken port the same 3784 and if they have got password put it in but I didn't so I'll leave that blank that blank and leave everything checked click OK then click connect and it successfully connected me to my test server thanks for watching this small series I've done on Ventrilo if you did like it then please like the videos in it if you've got any more questions and comment on the video that's related to that question and if you want to see up, um, live feeds or of um, any videos that I have coming up which should be quite frequent for the next seven weeks then please subscribe to my channel and plus that will really help me as well because subscribers means more people watch my videos and more reason to do more YouTube tutorials so yeah thanks for watching